My dreadlock jewelry is finally out, guys. And a link in the description. www.activerse.com. Made it so simple for y'all. Activerse.com, man. These also you can get if you have braids, dreads, any other hairstyle. Two strand twist, one twist, finger coil. If you have even shorter hair to where you know you can hook it, you can get it for those. And also for females, you can also rock it down with a lot of styles you guys already rock. Welcome back. I said. Welcome back to another video. Let's go. Of Activerse, you know. If you guys have intros to send me just like that, make sure you send it to me. Shout out to my boy. Make sure you go subscribe to his channel. Everybody that sent me my intro gets a shout out and a link in the description. So shout out to that boy, my man. You did good, my boy. But today, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to style your hair with some jewelry, man. Let's get into it. My dreadlock jewelry is finally out, guys. I was able to get y'all some of these banger. These are so just dope, man. Like... So this is what I'm be styling my hair with today. You guys will see the cleanliness, the dopeness. You know what I'm saying? How dope this is, man. You guys gotta get one of these for sure. Link should be in the description at www.activerse.com, man. Made it so simple for y'all. Activerse.com, man. Go get yours right now. Before it sells out, I have three unique dreadlock jewelries only you can find on Activerse. I have the Saints Cross, which is one of the new releases that I have. I have the Silver Piece, which this is, by the way, this is a banger. Like, for those of you guys that were looking for the silver one, I was able to get y'all these, man. These are unique and only found on Activerse. Look how unique this is. Look how nice this is. And the silverness, the silverness of it. And then the Activerse. The, you know the limited edition one is is here you know this is one of the hardest the harder ones to get and it's the activerse cross look how dope that is that is just sweet man you can't find this elsewhere you can't find it anywhere else this is the only place you can find it so might as well go cop it so when you put a dreadlock jewelry to start off you just gotta make sure that you got the right hairstyle and where the hairstyle that goes is usually the pineapple hairstyle or you know the half and half like half of it like you know in a ponytail half down in the back kind of like what i have right now so what i do have right now let me show you let's show you some of the works you know what i'm saying i have as you can see half of it in the ponytail and the rest just down in the back that gives me a full look to my dreadlock because i want some to see you know hanging in the back and i want some to see in the front also but if you guys don't have that many hairs like to you know pat your back your neck like mine being so patient for years to get this you can also just rock it down how it is because a lot of you guys may be starting you know six months to a year or even three months four months or however long your journey is and you can literally just hang it down which i miss i miss i miss i miss that moment of dreadlocks just being hanging down on my face just short enough that i don't have to touch it too much that was dope but now as you get a little mature with your dreadlocks start to grow so you got to put it in the ponytail and everything which was also the second most best accomplishment was for me to get my dreadlocks in a ponytail so that was a really dope experience so guys once you get your dreadlocks you know in front of your uh, face and everything because that's what people most look at they don't really look at the back right this is what you, this is how you conversate with people so you want to make sure that you have some in the front and like you just want to make sure you got some sauce man if you don't have no sauce watch my videos you'll get some sauce man i'm telling you right now bro you grab the jewelry which you can get on activerse.com and i'm gonna start off with this and i like mine to hang down from just the bottom piece meaning that i want it to be the last thing you see on the lock so yeah just open it up so this thing is very flexible it don't matter how thick or thin your dreads is, it's very flexible. So I just opened it like that, as you can see. And then now I'm closing the teeth in. And then I, I closed one of it in and I made sure that I squeezed it to, to the dreads. And then now I'm looping it with the other end, over overlapping it basically. So it can really, really hold it. So I closed the first and then I closed the other, which holds it together. And now you get that hanging effect. So I'm dragging it just a little bit down to where it is hanging on the bottom. I want it to look like it's almost the last piece at the end. Last piece, last piece, piece, piece. I'm too good with these things. And then this is the Activerse uh, cross right here. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm opening it up. I'm opening it up just like so. So now you see it open. And I'm gonna make sure that uh, my dreadlock is like 
like I like the thick ones to be to be held by it because sometimes whenever your dreadlocks is ending like this it may just slip out or something like that but if you have like a knot like this or a blunt tips it'd be perfect to just hang it right there and like I showed you earlier I closed the, the front I like one of it first and then I overlap it with the other one so the other one see it's not locked in yet so making sure that it's holding it really tight on one of them so now that it's holding it like that I just overlap it to make sure that it's very tight and that it won't just fly off so that's what's dope about it is once you put it like that it's just like you just feel it man like especially when people see it like whenever you be walking up and they like that's the first thing they notice like whenever I rock this everybody had asked me like where'd you get that from how do I get it where do I cop it from and that's why the first release that I had just sold out like that and and over 300 people were requesting it and now this one is rapidly flying off the shelf because of that it's just the uniqueness it's just the branding it's just the amazing texture and feel to it and also what it makes you look and that's the first thing that people would notice like those are some dope jewelry she got on I'm gonna show you also that uh, it can work for you know up here somewhere like you know I will in the future release also just the, the knot or the, the hook by itself so you guys can style it up here in different colors because those are not hard to get these are hard to get like these will fly off and then probably be gone in the next shipment you guys probably will end up saying can I get those and be like ah oh, it's gone now brother these also you can get if you have braids dreads any other hairstyle two strand twist one twist finger coil uh, if you have even shorter hair to where you know you can hook it you can get it for those and also for females you can also rock it down with a lot of styles you guys already rock because this is like basically what you do braids you know cornrows and the other styles that you guys have is already meant for these jewelries it's not just a dreadlock jewelry it's actually a jewelry for any hair that's looking to accent or add some accessories to it so right here what I have is the Saints cross this is the unique one that just got released really, really, really recently. I'm gonna put it up there where there's no jewelry at so I can show you guys, you guys can do this also. So I picked a thick one, as you guys can see, this is a pretty thick dread. And I'll show you that it works even for thick dreadlocks. So I'm opening it up real wide. So this is how wide it is open right now. So now we can easily like clamp to it. I first clamp one side by pushing it in, making sure that the dreadlock is fitting. And then I'm closing it with the other, just like so. So once it gets on your hair, you can twist it if you want to. Make sure that the front is in the front and not in the back. And so that it can hang down like that. These are the three jewelries that I have. And it goes with any different hairstyle that you guys want to rock it with. I call it dreadlock jewelry because that's what I have. But it's not really dreadlock jewelry. I'm going to show you also now different places that I can place all of them in. Or as much as I can. So it can look dope. So let's get into that. This is the most that I've ever will do for like, I don't know. I think there's a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? Even not in the back, like I could, you know, hang some right here, which I used to always have one right here, right down here. I used to always have one right there and there, which, you know, that was like my signature thing. And I mean, I can bring it back again, but I want to make sure that you guys get these. And I don't want to start using them at the house because they so, they're so tempting, you know what I'm saying? But this is it. This is how you rock your jewelry. You can go however many you want with it. This, this all matters with you. There is different pricing on the dreadlock jewelry. I wanted you guys to be able to pick and afford whichever limit that you guys can afford. And also what I did for you guys is if you guys are shopping over $25, you get a free shipping. So you don't have to worry about the shipping if it goes over $25. Also, whenever you buy the first sets of jewelry, the first time you purchase with me, you always get a coupon of 25% off for your next order. So don't miss out on these things I'm doing for you guys. This is how you wear your dreadlocks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a banger. Till next time, keep acting the version. Creating your universe. I'm Activerse, and I'm out. Stay tuned, you dig?